Hi everyone, welcome back to the workshop. A great skill to pick up is the ability to be able to grind your own high speed steel lathe tools. High speed steel is a great material, especially if you're using a mini lathe. Mini lathes aren't exactly known for their high amounts of power, and if you're cutting softer metals or plastic, it really does help to have really sharp cutting tools, which is something that steel can achieve, whereas carbide can't. High speed steel is also a really easy material to resharpen, and the geometry if you're grinding it yourself can be easily customised to suit your type of cut. However, the biggest disadvantage of high speed steel, especially for hobbyists, is to be able to grind it yourself. Unlike carbide, which comes as pre-made inserts, you do need a bench grinder with an accurate guide, and unfortunately that's not something that I have. The bench grinder that I have is about 15 years old, and the guide to it rusted out about 10 years ago. So to be able to grind my own high speed steel, I had to come up with an alternative method. The tools that it does make are a little bit simplistic, though the results do speak for themselves. To do this, you will need a high speed steel tool blank. I'm using quarter inch blanks, a grinding wheel. The one that I'm using here is made for a Dremel and it's really good because they are really common and easy to source. And you'll also need a quick change tool post. The first thing to do is to put your steel in the tool holder and then adjust it so that the top of the steel is just above the center line of the grinding wheel. Then rotate the tool post to give the front face a relief angle. Luckily for me, my steel already had a relief angle cut into it, so grinding it will be a little bit easier. Start up your lathe and advance your work into the grinding wheel, making a few passes to remove the material before advancing the work further. I typically take off about 0.15 mils per pass and then reduce it as more material gets removed with each pass. Once we finish, we will have completed the front relief and the end cutting angle. Next what we need to do is cut the side relief. So take the steel out of the tool holder, turn it around and then flip it upside down. Then move the tool post so that the tool is parallel to the lathe bed. Now start the lathe and repeat the previous step. The lathe is currently set to spin at 2500 RPM and using this method you're going to generate a lot of heat so I'd advise to keep the tool cool with some water. Keep an eye on the cut that you're making. When the bottom edge forms a sharp edge the tool will be done. Now at this point we can knock off the burrs with a whetstone and we'll have a perfectly good zero rake tool. This is perfect for brass and when we use it for brass we actually get some very nice chips from it. However, if you want to cut soft metals such as aluminium or plastic, we do need to make a side rake angle. And this is really easily achieved by flipping the tool 90 degrees in the tool post and making a few very light passes. This makes a really good sharp tool with a high rake. Finish the tool off on a whetstone and you will have a very sharp cutting edge which chews through plastic and aluminium even on this relatively low powered 350 watt lathe and produces what I would call a pretty acceptable finish. Now the tools I will admit are very simplistic but at the end of the day they're very easy to sharpen and if you have no other alternative I think the tools are very good. I'm very happy with their performance and in all honesty they produce results very similar to other high speed steel tools that I've received that have been professionally ground. Thanks for watching.